today I have decided that the new Space Jam is coming out and I was always such a big fan of Space Jam, Space, of Space Jam growing up that I decided I'm going to do the old school version on my nails today, but today is going to be extra exciting because I have received a package from Chan Legend. He is the nail god, and I am so excited to try out his new Gel X nail extension sculpted square XXL long tips. Um, he did a collaboration with a prey, a prey. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Whatever. We're gonna go with a prey. Um, he did a color. I love a praise system. If you don't know what this is, it's a press on gel system made with soft gel. It is a super easy, quick way to do your nails. It cuts like the process of doing a full set in half by time wise. And yeah. Today I chose to do a couple characters on both hands. I'm gonna show you the way that I do characters um, on both hands. Usually I can't do that because I cannot, I don't know about y'all, but I cannot paint with my opposite hand. My, this hand will always look good and this hand will always look like, like I'll just have like one color or like some glitter or some stones or something or like a little nail art, but I'll never do characters. But with Gel X, I'm gonna show you how to do it on both hands. So yeah, let's get on into it and Watch till the end to see the final reveal. The first thing I'm gonna do is hold up each nail size to each one of my nails to ensure that each one fits perfect. Next thing I'm gonna do is just attach all of these to this magnetic tip holder so I can paint on them. First, I'm gonna go ahead with my favorite black art gel and just get a quick outline of Tweety using my hella cute liner brush that I sell on my website and I will list that in the description below. When you are doing a sketch, you don't have to be perfect with it. You kind of just want to get an idea of where everything is going. So I really try to tell people not to waste time getting your first sketch. It's really just showing where everything's gonna go. And then you're gonna go back later and redo these lines again, so. A lot of people ask me how long it takes me to do my full sets, my character art. I will tell you that when I first started, it took me hours, you guys, and that is totally normal. But as you keep practicing and practicing and practicing, you get faster and faster and faster. So here I have made a mistake and I'm making his head a little bit bigger. And that is no issue. I'm gonna take my little baby blender brush, which I also sell on my website. Dip into some alcohol and wipe the excess off on paper towel and then I just go ahead and erase. This is the perfect little brush to erase with because it's got a nice little pointed tip and it's a super, super tiny small brush that gets into them little areas very well. You can use this brush for shading and blending and erasing mistakes. Now that his outline is done, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that in the light. And as that's curing, I'm gonna move on to my other nail. I'm always trying to work on many nails at once to knock out as much time as I can. What stood out to me next was Porky Pig. I think he's so cute in this picture. I'm gonna go ahead and put that up on the screen so you can see what I am painting. As I'm painting, I'm always finding that I'm measuring. Now, when I release my class, I'll go more in depth on measuring, but it's gonna be one of your key details when you're painting a character. You're always going to need to be measuring the line that you lay down compared to the line that you put down before. 
the length, the shape, the angle, always comparing it to the line you just painted before and where it's placed. I'm trying to make sure that I don't cover up here because when I am applying these after, I need this to be clear so the light penetrates that part of the nail and still cures onto your finger. Usually, as you can see on the picture that I put up on the screen, it can end lower so I just kind of imagine what the picture would look like down there because if you cut it off where it really ends in that picture on the screen that's just going to look weird if there's nothing at the bottom. In between switching colors with this brush, I slightly put it into the alcohol. I use 70% alcohol. I just find that that is not so harsh on the bristles. I laid on the paper towel, flip the paper towel and pull, and that cleans out all that previous color from the brush. Now this option is totally up to you guys, but I like with yellow because I have a problem with every yellow I've ever used. I just want it to be super bright. I even do this with some of my characters, period, not just yellow, just because I feel like it really pops the colors. I'm going to go ahead and outline, and also because I don't have a base color on this nail and it's clear. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in Tweety all with white where I just painted those sketches. And then I'm gonna go back with color and fill in all the detail. By the way, for this white, I am actually using Valentino Beauty Pure's white gel polish. Um, I don't even need an art gel anymore, you guys, because this white is so opaque and the perfect thickness to go ahead and work with. I actually prefer it to not be so thick because it takes forever to drag thick art gels across a nail. Next, I'm gonna be taking number 59 yellow from Valentino Beauty Pure and going to be filling over that white. I love this yellow, it's so bright and pretty. And for Porky Pig, I'm going to go in and take number 13 from Valentino Beauty Pure. And then we're going to fill in all of his area that has this color. I find that this is my favorite go-to nude for like most of my characters that have this skin tone. It is the best. You can use it even to make dark skin tones. If you add like brown, you can make a darker skin tone. And then if you add white. It makes a lighter shade and it's like the perfect light color skin tone. Next, I'm gonna take Valentino's blue number 28 and mix some white into it to make Tweety's eyeball color. And let's give Tweety a cute little beak. Now for the fun part. Now we can start outlining the details. So for the inside of the face, I always try to get the fine details and then the outside of my characters, I like to do very bold.
After I've done the art, I am going to go ahead and just top coat this nail. I'm gonna use a shiny finish. You kinda wanna try to do it thin because later if you decide to add color after you'd, you have adhered this nail, you don't want a bunch of layers. I feel like it throws off the shape. So you always wanna do your coats of gel very thin. I'm gonna go ahead and take number 28 again and do the outline of his jersey. Number two from Valentino is the best red, you guys. Like, I've never encountered a red gel as good as this one. I'm gonna go ahead and use number two for his tongue. So real quick, I just want to show you guys the finished look of the nails. On one hand, I did the Toon Squad, which is the Looney Tunes. And then on the other hand, I did the Monstars, the bad guys. Love it. Now that I have finished all the nail art, I'm just going to take my sanding van and lightly prep all of my nails. After I have prepped all my nails, I'm gonna go in with my sanding band and lightly prep the back of each one of these nails also, where your nail is going to be adhered to it. This creates a more porous surface for the product to kind of grip into and last longer and um, adhere to your nail well. And it also flushes this part of it. It makes it not so thick, so it lays nice and thin around your cuticle. So you're just gonna go ahead and lightly prep the backs of these. After all those are prepped, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove all that dust with some alcohol and wipe the backs of each one of the nails. First, I'm gonna take their pH bonder, which is their dehydrator, and go ahead and dehydrate each one of my nails. Then I'm going to take the number two primer, and this is a gel primer, and we're going to go ahead and add this to each one of our nails as well. This is going to help the gel extension, soft gel, adhere to the nail. And I am taking the extend gel, and I'm going to apply it to all of my nails first and cure that in the lamp. As you can see how I'm kind of like pushing it into my nail, that kind of makes it so it adheres into all them little etches you just created when you prepped your nail a lot better. And then always remember to cap the tip of your nail. So this is much easier when you're doing it on an actual client, but because I have to have the light next to me and I can't, I don't have three hands, I wish I did, but I only, I was born with two, I know. It's sad for me, right? Um, I have to move my hand over to the light that I turn on right before I apply my nail. So I'm adding a little bit of product to the tip. 
I'm gonna add a little bit more because his are such a C curve that it goes very deep. You're gonna need a little bit more product. I'm gonna click my lamp to do it myself. Go ahead and press it down and then move my hand to under the light to cure it under the light. So does anyone else have a crooked finger? Because my middle finger is, I don't know, it goes like that way. So I always have to put the tip on this way. <laughs> So let me just see, I'm gonna, I zoomed out so I can kind of show you guys how I'm doing this whole light situation better. I'm gonna go ahead and, especially if you're at home doing your own nails, this is just the best way to do it. I'm gonna add some product to that tip. Go ahead and put it on a little crooked, since I'm a crooked time. And Once you have it how you want it, go ahead and stick your finger in the light. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for all the rest of the nails. And then you can do your full 30 second cure at the end. I want to show you how the sides have a nice apex providing strength. These are not just some press on nails. They also deliver super strong structure in the nail with how the tips are pre-made. So you have that perfect sculpted look in these nails. And then that C curve is to die for, of course. He's known for his perfect C curve, his perfect shape, and with these tips, you guys, you're getting just that. Right now, I wanna introduce you guys to my newest tool that I'll be launching at the end of next month, and that is the bling thing. <laughs> Yes, yes, I know. So creative, such a great name. But that's what it is. It's just a thing that you bling with. So I thought it was, you know, nifty. So I'm just go ahead, gonna go ahead and bling around all the cuticles on all these nails. And then we're gonna be done with the finished set. So I just went ahead and laid the product down where I want these stones to go. I always try to get all different various sizes. The thing that I love about this tool is that some wax pencils, they're not so waxy. I kind of struggle with picking up stones. And with this one, every single time I go to pick up a stone, it just, you know, the first time it just picks up. And the second thing that I love about this crystal pickup tool, which I will show you in a minute, is the other end. So that is just for use for placing the stones. You don't really wanna move the stones around with this because it can leave wax residue on your crystals if you're pressing too hard. So with this end, it's so long and so pointy at the tip, it comes to this very small point. It's perfect for moving your stones around and placing them exactly where you want them. After you have your stones placed how you like, go ahead and cure this in the light. Once all your stones are dried in the light for a total of 60 seconds, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Hella Cute Liner Brush and my favorite top coat from iGel Beauty. This is my favorite top coat when it comes to a no wipe top coat for trapping in stones. So I'm just going around them, not going over them, leaving little drops of gel in between the stones. This helps fill in all the little snag crevices that your hair could get caught in. This literally works wonders for crystal application and making your crystals last a long time. I 
A little secret to keeping a crisp shape after you top coat is to wipe the sides of the nail. This try this makes it so it takes off that excess overflow of gel that is sliding to the sides of the nails. Last but not least, I'm just gonna take my quick fix cuticle drip and I am going to apply it to my cuticles. I sell this on my website as well and it is cotton, I can't talk. <laughs> cotton candy scented, it smells so good. And here is the finished look. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be trying to post more of these tutorial videos. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. What kind of tutorials, what kind of nail art. Also, I just wanted to let you also know that all the products used in this video are listed in the description below. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. My other social media is listed in the description below. And I'll be back with another video soon.